So we've got ordinary safety glasses. We've got a sponge ball. You can get it in various sizes. A tennis ball with a hole drilled straight through it. I use a piece of wire for threading the ball. This is a fishing swivel. You can use various kinds of that. That's a ball bearing one, but you can use ordinary ones. And here's a piece of some bits of lead just flattened out to uh, to put on the ball to give the ball more weight, the tennis ball. And also some uh, surgical tubing. First of all, I'm going to take the glasses and I'm going to tie the swivel on the front here. Through the elastic through the swivel and then place, it, place the swivel on the front of the glasses and take the elastic round and put it back through the swivel again so it's through the swivel twice then bring it round and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a simple knot so I'll just pull that tight then knot wet it a bit and then tie another knot and wet it and then pull it tight and that'll hold. So now you can see the rubber's fixed to the front. So the swivel is now tied on and that's just tied in a knot and it's doubled up through the uh, elastic. So you can see there the swivel's tied on. Okay. So next up what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber and I'm going to slide it up on each side, on both sides, so, so the glasses stay on when you're hitting the ball. Right, so as you can see I've slid the, the elastic up on each side so it's at the back and you can adjust that to make it tighter or looser depending on the shape of your head. <laughs> so have got the elastic at the back and we've got the swivel tied on the front. Yeah. So next, I've got a length of elastic here, probably about a foot and a half, roughly. I'm going to tie the elastic through the other end of the swivel, just in a knot. Just tie a simple knot, wet it, pull it up and then just tie another knot. So tie it through again, wet it, pull it up and then you've got a knot on there and it won't slip yeah so you've got your elastic there and you've got that on the front so next I've got a tennis ball and I've drilled a hole right through it so I've just got a little hole enough to get the other el the elastic down there in but first what I'm going to do is I've got some lead that I've flattened out and I'm just going to wrap it round I'm going to wrap it round the ball and you just need to me have a little mess about with it and, <clears throat> and try some some different if it's too heavy then the elastic will just stretch too far but you just need to mess with it and it's just a bit of a a bit of lead have a little play with it you'll find out how much you need and then I'm going to tape the lead onto this ball before I put the elastic in so got the lead here so I'm just going to make sure the holes are on the outside and then I'm going to tape I'm going to stick down the lead so the lead's stuck on the ball yeah Bit of duct tape like that and it should stay there. You can put the extra tape on if you, if you think it'll need it if it's not sticking properly. What I'm going to do now is thread the other end of the elastic through the ball. Now how I do that is I get a bit of twisted wire, put the rubber through there. Like that and then just pull it through to get it on the end of the ball. Right, so that's through the ball now. So what I'll do now is I'm going to tie this. And you can adjust the length of the, of the string if you need to. You can always undo you can always undo this other end and shorten it. Once this is tied on, you can you adjust it with the other end. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this round through each side. Just tie it over in a basic knot again. Just pull it, wet it a bit. And then I'm tying another knot through again like so and then wet it and just pull it tight yeah so it's looped on like that so what I've got now I've got the glasses and I've got the elastic 
Now looking at that now, it's a bit long. What I can do is I can take that off, cut it and make it shorter. So then we get a sponge ball available from various places, depending on what size you can get. And then you cut it in half. So I'm going to cut the ball in half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the middle of this big enough to fit half the tennis ball in and the same on the other side. So the tennis ball sits in the middle of the foam ball. But I've just got to pull out the inside and make it fit. And that's easy enough. Just start taking it out. So, you see how the ball... I've dug it out so the ball fits halfway in. Do the same with the other side of the ball. So, now I've got the ball and I've, and I've pulled it out both sides. So that sits in there and the other ball sits on top like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this up a little bit. Stop this wearing it out. And I'll show you that now before we stick it together. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting tape just across the top here. So where the rubber comes out the ball comes out across here rather than rubbing away on the on the foam. So also I'll just put a bit inside there just so it holds it. So when the ball goes in it lies in so the rubber goes across the tape, stops wearing away the foam when you're using it and then you get the other one which is the same and then you put that in the same place there and then you stick them together with a bit of tape and now what I've done is I've taped the ball closed and what I'll do is I'll tape right round the ball all you need to do if you need to exchange the elastic or change the weight of the thing change the weight of the ball is just to cut along just cut the tape again open it up and then just stick it back again so now I've got it taped together with the elastic you can see it's a bit it's a bit long so when I hit it it stays really low and it's just too long so all I'm going to have to do is shorten the elastic now and I'll tape up the ball so it's all taped solid together. So now I've taped the whole ball up and I've shortened the elastic. So now you know when you've got it right because when it's on your face, when you hit it, it stays where you hit it. If it's too long it'll stay low or it might be a bit heavy. So sometimes because of the elastic on the back, this this bit digs in, in the bridge of your nose or along here sticks in your head as well so what you can do is I've just got a piece of another piece of rubber here that's been split so what I'm going to do is I'll just slide that up there so you can see it's just a split piece of rubber similar stuff and then you can just super glue that in place so it stops rubbing on your, on your nose and you can do the same across the top as well so also I'm just going to get a bit of some more rubber I'm going to put it along the top to stop that digging in my head as well. So now I've, I've stuck the rubber on the bit to stop it, stop it digging in your nose and I've stuck some rubber over the outside at the back there to stop it digging in your head. And there we are, ready to go. One ball and one lot of glasses.